Alright, at this point, the store is coming along pretty well. Next, we need to start adding some products. So let's get started. Alright, so you go on the dashboard, you click products. And you click new. And then you want to put in whatever the product name is, and you want to put in the description. I'm just copying and pasting the description and stuff that I have. And then you want to go to data, the SKU. You can put in the SKU number for that. The manufacturer, we don't have any manufacturers yet. So leave that blank for image, choose image. And you want to select the product. And then select what category that's part of. And the good thing about this too is you can have one product that's part of multiple categories. In that case, what you have to do is once you're on the category section, you click the first category as part of, and you can select multiple categories that you want that particular item to show up under. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as for that one for the TV. And then the price, let's put in the price. I won't need to wait and for all this stuff for now. And then for uh, for the weight, uh, tax, no tax stuff, quantity. I'm just gonna leave that blank. Recurring shipment, you no know, related products. We don't have any related products yet. Uh, available date, that's available today. Is it a featured item? I was not a featured item, but you can make a feature and the attributes. We don't have any of that yet. Discount. If you want to add a discount for this particular item, but let's just take a look on the front end and see how that looks. You want to click on save. And then you come on the front end, you you refresh. And let's go to TV. Okay, so here you have it. This is the product we just added, the Samsung HD TV monitor. So once you click on it, when someone gets to actually, they can add to wish list, they can add to compare, or they can just check it out. So let's click on Samsung HD monitor and see what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it looks like. They can be able to, you know, share this and like it on Facebook. They can tweet it, you know, Pinterest, they can, you know, share it on LinkedIn, Google Plus. And here's the description we added, specifications, there are no specifications at this point. When someone purchased a product, they can write in a review. Related products, we don't have any related products at this point. So, so far, so good. Um, this is how it's supposed to look. So, you want to make sure, and also the availability you can ship it to them within two to three days so this is looking pretty good now all you have to do is you have to go and add the rest of the products we're going to add all the features later but for now I want you to go in and add the rest of the products alright so I went ahead and add all the other products um, a total of five so at this point your products page should look something like this you should have about five products in total and if you notice here, I have for the categories, I've assigned each product to all categories. So let me pull up one of them so you get, you know, see how it looks. So first, add a short description. And then for the data, I just, for the categories, I just added all the categories there. And then for I set the price and for the shipping, required shipping, yes. And for the cause, just look that to blank. And related products, have to add. Alright, so now when I go to. Let me go on the front end of the store so you can see how much progress we've made at this point. 
Okay, so at the moment, if you click on any category, you should have at least two products in there. Let's see how that works. Okay. Well, you have more, more than two because I added each product to all the categories. So this is how the product page. So once you have a category, you have a main picture here, and then you have each particular item. So once you click on, let's say for this one, you can be able to see what that looks like. So you go to any page, you click on any any page and category, you should have all the, the current items there. So, so far, so good. You know, it looks very neat, which is exactly what you want. You don't want a store that looks so, you know, like have so much going on. So, we've added the products to this. It makes things easier for people to be able to shop and navigate your store.